Well, good morning, guys. Back with another vlog, getting ready to do my skincare routine. I'm gonna put my hairband on. This headband I've had for a couple of years. They don't make it anymore, but it was a gift, and it came from that Calia brand that I love that I get from Dick's Sporting Goods all the time. All right, I'm gonna come in, of course, washing my face this morning with the CeraVe Hydrating Foaming Oil Cleanser. I just went on a little walk to wake myself up. No weird dreams last night, but I did get a Charlie horse in the middle of the night. Let me know if you get those. Um, they always happen to me like randomly in the middle of the night. If I happen to like stretch, all of a sudden I get a Charlie horse in my cap. Oh my gosh, the only way to rectify the situation is to flex your foot. You kind of have to like force yourself out of bed and stand up. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Um, I often will get them actually the night after if I've been wearing flat sh shoes with not good arch support, which is why I always try and wear shoes that have good arch support, but I have these cute little ballet flats that I like to wear and I paid the price. The worst part about washing your face at the sink is the drips. Um, not just when you're trying to rinse all of the cleanser off, but when you're actually trying to lather the cleanser, you get the little drips. And I know they make those little cuffs that you can put on your wrist to keep that from happening, but I'm too stubborn for that because that's just like another thing to float around here and for me to have to wash and maintain. <laughs> So try and go real quick. <laughs> now, if you shave your face in the morning, do it using a mild cleanser first. It can help to soften up the hairs and remove any oil from the surface of the skin. Having a smoother surface for your shave and hydrated hairs makes for a better shave, less irritation. When it comes to shaving, also you always wanna take short strokes in the direction of hair growth. You don't wanna to press too hard. You know. In my experience, that's one of the major leading factors for people developing razor burn is that they press too hard. You really don't need to press very hard um, because you're cutting the hair and you don't want to you know, be gouging at your skin. The hair is like just right there. It's like chill. I'm here. All right, then we're just going to hydrate up with a little Healthy Renew Face Serum from Cetaphil. I love the little orbs. Like this product is kind of fun because um, when you pump the product out as it goes through the tube these little spheres they break apart and dissolve into the formula like that so it comes out kind of peachy pearlescent let me do another pump for the other half of my face <laughs> Now, over that, I'm gonna come in with this Korean sunscreen that I've been loving this year. It's Pecom Water Barrier Sun Cream. Right now, you guys, I currently like, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, these are the sunscreens that I have right now going in rotation. I have, um, actually, in my living room, I just filmed a video. The other one I have is the Dermatology Universal Tint, but I've got Invisible Daily, love this. Hydrating Sheer, this is a hybrid sunscreen that I wear some days. It's good, not my favorite hybrid sunscreen, but it's pretty good. Um, and then I've got this Pecom, uh, and I, that's kind of what I've been doing most days. This is an organic sunscreen. It's kind of similar in consistency to the um, Beauty of Josen one, or the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. It's very moisturizing. It has ceramide and it has glutathione. So this is a good winter facial moisturizer. The ceramide can help with your barrier and the glutathione is an antioxidant that may help in warding off environmental aggressors. One of the biggest things about sunscreen is choosing one that you like enough and enjoy actually physically applying. This is a pleasure to apply, I really like it. This feels really nice. It feels like a burst of hydration, um, and my skin doesn't feel sticky or tacky. But on my walk this morning, I was listening to my audiobook. I'm almost, I have an hour left of um, Crossroads. I've been listening to it, it feels like forever, but it takes me a while to make it through an audiobook because I don't always have 
a lot of time to listen. So I've just been getting some work done on the computer, sipping my coffee, and most of the morning has now passed by, and it's like, oh my gosh, why does time fly so quickly? It's a dreary day out, but no fear because my festive holiday credenza, I don't even know, <laughs> is ablaze. So last weekend I shared with you guys how I've been all about these snow globes. I've got two of them going, the Nutcracker one and then the Cardinal one. But candle update, I suggest checking out the candles at Rondal's, aka Randall's or Safeway, depending on where you live, because they have this brand motif and they have some really cute holiday packaging and nice scents. This is caramel truffle. It's a really nice, almost buttered popcorn caramely scent. There's also a brandied apple candle that is really good too. I purchased, I burned it and repurchased it here. I'll go grab it and show you. Isn't the label festive? Yeah, I really like this scent. This is my second one. Randall's also has Tuscany and their new holiday scents. I always love to get the peppermint and they really outdid themselves with the label. It's really a nice peppermint. So I've got those. Y'all know how much I love my holiday candles. Like there is nothing that makes me happier than a candle judging. <laughs> especially if it has a cute label. Anyway, while the day is dreary and as much as I want to just be a bum, I think I'm going to get ready, put my makeup on. So one odd thing about me among many <laughs> is that I have taken to enjoying putting my makeup on here at my desk um, because I don't know, I just find that the height of the desk is perfect. So a while ago, I purchased this makeup mirror on Amazon and I really like it. It opens up and lights up. And then these little mirrors here on the sides are magnifying. So if you wanna look really closely, you've got that. I keep that on my desk, actually. I just collapse it and then I store it back here out of the way. And then when I'm ready to do my makeup, I just pull it forward. Then I have this little train case that I keep my makeup in. So it's pretty nice. It's from Vanity Planet, I think. Um, it also has a mirror that lights up with the USB. Ignore my fingerprints. I haven't charged it though. Um, so I need to charge it, it doesn't work, but I just rely on that little Amazon makeup mirror. Anyway, here's some of the brushes that I mostly use. Um, and yeah, here's my little makeup stash. <laughs> I've got quite a bit going on here. These cream blushes I've been enjoying from Merit Beauty. I'm probably gonna use those. Then of course my go-to NARS blush. Love this. Dabbling around with this contouring stick a little bit. It's pretty nice. Yeah, so I've been dabbling around with that a little bit. I like this concealer too. It's a cream formula. But speaking of concealer, this concealer is really good. The Milani Conceal and Perfect. Highly recommend this. It's a long wear concealer and it stays on really well. Um, alternatively, I have tried this and I don't recommend it. The Physician's Formula Butter Glow. First of all, it has a really strong fragrance and it's like, it kind of gets green looking, like it oxidizes. This has not worked out well for me whatsoever but I like this because it blends in really easily. Like you can just use your fingers. And then I use this to pat in the concealer around my eyes. All right, and then for eyeshadow, I've been using this shade Mid-Century. And these you can actually just put on with your finger if you wanted to, but I use this little brush. I need to wash these today. I wash them in my little brush cleaner every couple of days. Then I come in with a lighter shade, Bacheda. And again, you could do this with your fingers if you wanted to, but I just put it there. The shade Nelson is what I use to line my bottom eyelid. And I don't do very much. Okay, and then I use a different eyeliner on the top. I'm using this Lancome Idole Waterproof Mascara. And I just put like a 
that much. <laughs> All right, now I do what I like to call ski cheeks. <laughs> so I just do there and there. I'm gonna do persimmon. And then I just blend that together with this brush. All right, and then if I wanna make my forehead less shiny, I'll come in with some of this NARS translucent powder, just so now I'm going to come with a tinted brow gel and I'm not going to do much because I tend to just make things worse <laughs> and now mascara. This is a mascara I've been using and I really like it because I'll use it this way for my top lashes then I'll flip it and I'll use it this way for my bottom lashes. I don't I haven't always been someone who uses mascara on the bottom lash because I find it gets clumpy but this particular wand helps. I know I have the makeup mirror and I'm using this silly little mirror, but it's so that I can look at you. All right, and then for my lipstick, let's do this millennial shade. Spritz of perfume. This is, I can't get enough of it. It has made me so enthusiastic about starting my day, spritzing this on and just like, I don't know, it's very calming, it's warm, it's sweet, but not sugary sweet. Oh, it's just a delight. And there's so many different notes that come out with this, it's amazing. I have just been getting some work done, doing some laundry, and I just finished my audiobook, uh, Crossroads. It ended kind of abruptly, which I think I saw a comment from one of you guys that you felt it ended abruptly. This morning when I was chatting with you during my skincare routine, I said I had an hour left of the audiobook, but actually I only had 30 minutes left because the last 30 minutes was an interview between the author, an interviewer, and the reader. And I got really excited for that because I love Jonathan Franz and the author so much. But the interview, at least what I listened to of it, and I didn't listen to the whole thing, but it was just like kind of boring. Yeah, it was just kind of them talking back and forth about what it's like to read an audiobook out loud. And I was like, um, okay, like I'm not, I, I want to hear from the author. And honestly, I should have listened all the way through because maybe they got more into things. But yeah, I was just <laughs> not, I don't know, I was kind of let down in that regard. But I really felt for the sister in the book. I'm not having any spoilers here in, in case you haven't read it or you're planning to read it. But I really felt bad for the sister because, you know, like she had all this, it felt like she just had a lot of pressure on her. She wanted to be a good person, do the right thing and everything. But then at the same time, like it really wasn't fair that she, I mean, what was being asked of her, I felt like she just kind of got the brunt of everything. Anyway. I just got a little order in from iHerb. This is the laundry detergent that I've been using for years now. I either use this or use the Arm & Hammer Sensitive Skin. But I love this laundry soda, um, Nellie's. I get it from iHerb. And this bag lasts a good long while. Yeah, I store it in this tin. But the problem is, so there's a scoop down there. I've told you guys this before, but it's the, the, the scoop dilemma. Like. I don't want to fish in there and get the old scoop out. When I pour this in, there's there's a new scoop. So now we're going to have two scoops in there. At some point, I'm going to have to reach in there and touch the laundry detergent, which I don't like doing because I just find that it feels weird. That and chalk. I don't know how gymnasts or weightlifters who use chalk. Oops. Um, I don't know how they can stand that chalk powder on their skin. You know, when I was a child, I did gymnastics, and I remember feeling weird about the chalk. Yeah, so that came in the mail. And then I also ordered some new running socks. This brand, Balega, Baliga. They're pretty good. I get these on the Amazonian. And what I like is that 
don't know why this one came wrapped in plastic. Like, that seems unnecessary because this one did not. Anyway, what I like about these is that they're really thick and supportive. Like, they have... Ooh, I don't know what that was. It just fell. They have really nice cushioning here. Because I was telling you guys this, like, when I run or walk on the treadmill, I do a little twist. And I've been putting petroleum jelly on my feet before I go for a run. It really helps cut down on callus. But um, the socks you use make a huge difference. The other reason I like these is they have this like nice um, little band here that's really comfortable. One thing I appreciate, this is silly, but they didn't come jointed together with that plastic, you know what I'm talking about? That annoying little plastic string that ties things together like and then you have to like kind of separate them and cut and it's just like begging you to accidentally cut the fabric which I have done with things before and it's like super frustrating so <laughs> I appreciate that they figured out a way to send you the socks without that weird little staple gizmo. So yeah I ordered these but one thing I have developed and it's frustrating is I have developed I don't know if it's an allergy to elastic but I cannot wear socks that come up to like my you know like tube socks forget it um it really aggravates my eczema and I get like flares I'm banging into vacuum cleaner there I'm just putting these in Let's put you guys down. I'm just putting these away. Yeah, it's really frustrating. And I have some really nice ones. Like, I'm just going to go through my sock drawer here and pull them out. Like, these Levi socks I got. And they're so comfortable while I'm wearing them. But whatever is in this tears my skin up. Like, I wore these under pants for a whole day. Loved them. Thought they were so wonderful. And then as soon as I took them off, it was like itch city. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to donate these because they're really good socks. I just cannot wear them. Yeah, I'm going to donate these too because um, these are some sweater socks that I got in a Fat Fit Fun box. And I've not worn them. But now that I have that problem, I am not going to risk it. So I'm going to donate these. Then I also bought these these are for when you want to wear ballet flats but you don't want to go barefoot because it might make your feet stink but you also don't want the socks to show these are not good though for like walking and running distances because there's like nothing there but there's i'm going to take them off of the little inserts but i downloaded a new book it's called wellness and it's by the same author who wrote the nicks which I read a long time ago and I really enjoyed. And so far this book is, is an, an enjoyable listen. It's like about, so far it's about these uh, guy and gal and they're like falling in love. They live on, in buildings right across from each other. Their windows like face each other. Um, and it takes place in Chicago. And I've listened to, I, you know, the first couple of chapters and now I'm at a point where it's like fast forward and they must be married and they're about ready to buy a house or whatever. And it's kind of funny because he's like, I never really knew I was this invested in like interior design type things until I go to buy a house. And she wants to have the kitchen with no cabinets, but rather shelves. And he's just like cringing at this idea of having stuff out in the open. She's like, oh no, like look at these pictures. I am totally on his side. Like I love the way that looks to have shelves instead of cabinets. If it's in, you know, like a Pinterest board, a magazine, but let's face it, the reality of that has got to be so obnoxious. Um, especially if you're like me and you have a bunch of stuff that doesn't match or go together. And, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. How do you guys feel about that concept of in kitchens where it's just sh open shelves rather than closed in cupboards, cabinets? I just, it looks nice, but not, not if I live there, <laughs> it'd be a mess. Even though it's a dreary rainy day, I can bask in the glory of the nutcracker tree. I want to keep this up all year, you guys. I am just in love with it. It just makes me so happy to look at. 
and I love everything Nutcracker. The Nutcracker Ballet itself is not even like the best ballet in the world or anything. I just, I don't know, it's it's whole, a whole feeling of festivity and happiness and it does remind me of like rehearsals and I just love all things Nutcracker. But funny thing, I'm not really so much a big fan of like the actual Nutcrackers. It's more the different dances from the Nutcracker, especially the second act. That's my favorite. Like all of the different dances like Spanish, I love and I love the candy canes and snow scene is so beautiful. Like yeah, the snow scene is the, one of the most beautiful in my opinion, the way the dancers all line up and like if you look overhead it almost looks like a snowflake it's so beautiful the choreography the music uh yeah it's definitely very magical well hey guys i am all moisturized from head to toe i came in after i got out of the shower while my skin was still a little bit damp i came in with the Madagascar Centella Pro Bio Sika Serum. This is super hydrating and it kind of envelops the skin in a nice little hug to reduce water loss. Then to my body from the neck down, I came on with the Eucerin Intensive Repair Lotion. This is a fragrance free body moisturizer that has lactic acid so it can really help soften dry rough skin. This is a great neck cream if you will because it's very occlusive and the neck skin is a lot more delicate. The lactic acid helps with hydrating, but the overall formulation is not such that it's going to be like aggressively exfoliating. The lactic acid can really get in there and soften dull appearing skin and improve the overall appearance of the texture of the skin on your neck. Likewise, you could use amlactin. may sting a little bit, but this is another option. I really like lactic acid and moisturizers. I feel as though that and urea, they are kind of underappreciated ingredients in your moisturizers for not only for improving dry skin, but for just improving the overall look of the skin by light scattering through hydration. Moisturizing is one of the most underrated aspects of a skincare routine. You know, you get you hear all of this stuff about different ingredients, anti-aging ingredients, antioxidants serums, um, peptides, and those are all, you know, really cool ingredients, but moisturizers can do so much. I feel like people will get hung up on focusing on different ingredients, but you will be surprised how much of a difference you notice in your skin when you just stay consistent with moisturizing. And we focus a lot on our face, but don't forget like your neck, your chest, your arms, especially, especially the elbows, but your forearms, like when was the last time you really concentrated putting your body moisturizer on your forearms and just rubbing it in? It's actually very relaxing to do that, almost like a massage. You carry a lot of tension in your wrist. All right, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. I hope you're having a great weekend. Thank you so much for making it to the end. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, Sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.